I tell you what. You've oh, not sold that very well for us, <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> what a... I'm a member of the BHA, the band of the whip. That has just been beaten to death. <laughs> Simon, I'm, I, I subscribe to it regularly. Where can I find it? Um, Mike Keegan, <clears throat> uh, very well respected sports writer in the Daily Mail. Uh, this morning, Trevor, uh, it's an exclusive on the back of the mail. You and I touched on it earlier. Phil Foden reportedly agreeing a new long term contract at Manchester City worth around £225,000 a week. Can this be true? The New Deal dwarfs the £30,000 a week contract he signed in 2018. Simon reliably tells me it's a 700% increase. Is that, is that right? Well, listen, you look at what he's doing on the pitch um, over the last few years. Um, you look at his potential and I think he's deserved it. You know, he's, he's won four Premier League titles, four uh, League Cups, FA Cup, Champions League runner-up, um, under-17s, uh, World Cup winner. He's won the lot already and he's only 22. And I think when you're safeguarding your, your talent that you've already got at the football club. And listen, Manchester City want to build a team around him because not only is he a potential future Premier League player of the season, he's also a potential future Ballon d'Or. I think he's that Maybe good. He's, he's got, got every... Bleeding haircut I think kind of he's got... I think he's a man can he... Has he's, he hit the ceiling that... already though? Of course. It, it regards what he's doing. Of course he's not. He's going to get stronger. He's going to get more experienced. He's going to he's going to um, understand the game better. He's going to get more clinical in front of goals. Uh, he's going to get, get more confidence with all that. It depends on Phil Foden. If he continues to work in the way that he works at the moment, his IQ and everything is going to go up, and he's going to be a better player. I'm Sam, really excited. It, Apart from injury, I uh, can't see him failing because he seems to right, be we a really, very excited. really That's grounded great. lad. Here we but, go, <laughs> Simon. In what other industry? I know. Would you turn to someone and say, you've done really well. Now, we've been paying you 30k a week. From next Monday, you go on at 225,000 a week. In <laughs> what other industry? Golf. You're a mediocre golfer, you can come over here and play fortunes. <laughs> um, but look, the bottom line is is that it's a, it's a product of... I, I wonder why football seems to still think there's a necessity to alert the world of how much money they're paying the players on a weekly basis mm. as if it's some badge of honour. It's another example of how out of touch football is with the reality of what's happening outside of football. But who's released this information? But I don't know why the industry wants to release it. I don't know why the agent would want it out there, why the player would want his private business out there, because they have to consent to it, mm. why the club would want to brag about how much money they're paying a footballer. I don't understand why. We've got a world outside of football going, I can't afford to pay my electricity bill. Looking in at a world of a 22-year-old footballer getting £10 million a year, as if we're all enthralled by that. Now, in the, in the world of football, we have to say... He's playing for a football club that pays these players these wages. So it's unarguable that if he's going to pay Jack Grealish that kind of dough, if they're going to pay other people that kind of dough, then it's difficult to argue against the product of your academy that's come through your youth development system that subsequently gets disadvantaged because he's come through your youth academy system and, and hasn't been signed by a big way. fee is now not going to be on the same money as the players that are Well, that's are right. It. And Trevor, with, with all due respect, you said very quickly he deserves it. He deserves it. And he deserves it. And it's actually quite Three rare. Three two, two, five, he deserves we it. We see it so many times. We see it so many times. A player who comes through the ranks at a football club and then when they get to the level of the other players that are on big dough, they don't get the dough and they end up leaving. And it's good. I think it's, yeah. it's the right thing to do because they've not paid anything for Phil Foden. They got him in as a, well, I think, a nine, ten-year-old. He's been unbelievable. I remember Steve Ayres talking to me about him. He was doing a training session uh, at Carrington and uh, uh, talk, got told about this little under-11s and he went and put him in with an under-14s. And not he weren't just dribbling past plays, he was passing little one twos, understood the game, and he was just astounded by how developed this young player was at such a young age. And he wasn't big either, so he, sometimes you get a big lad who's strong and powerful and he can go for a couple of years and, and, and dictate plays still because he's he's so powerful. Phil didn't have them assets. He was just a great touch, great awareness, little one twos around the corner, step over and taking players on. Yeah. He's a naturally very well, it, Trevor, very gifted player. I agree player. with everything you're saying. You, you, your football knowledge dwarfs mine. You, you played at the highest level, of course, more credible than me to talk about it. He is a great player already. He could become an all-time great for sure. Can, yeah. But people sitting in the back of a bus this morning in London, Manchester, Glasgow, reading the back of the mail, that's yeah. what they, that really gets them well, what, about the maybe, industry of football. Ford and Seal's six-year City deal on 225 grand a week. The headline, fill your boots. And maybe those same people who understand that are going to the same job that they've done for many years in a factory are going to the, sh yeah, the shop listen, at the end of the street. It, it, Do you know it, what I'm going with? I it? understand, but listen, it's a short career. 
He's the talent. Oh, please, he, Trevor. He, he's the I, star. I can't believe you've trotted that out. It can afford to be a bleeding short career. It can afford to be three months, <laughs> right? If you're going to get £10 million a well, year, the, going, right? the average, this is, this is the average this is person the, won't earn what he the, earns the game in is, one year I, in 300. Saying, I'm not saying they will. The, so the don't, game don't start the short no, career couple of this point is that players and ex, ex top players like yourself constantly come away with it's a short career well, that, as, well, as if I'm going to throw that one in and that shuts and, down and, the and, argument and here's the thing that people get fed up with this is what I get fed up with they don't appreciate how fortunate they are they walk around like impending doom like the world's on their shoulders if it wasn't for football some of these guys would be working in fast food restaurants not that there's anything wrong I'm with working sure in fast food restaurants but 10 million pounds a year is, is Unbelievable! I know it's unbelievable it's money. Unbelievable but you money. Look at how much fo- and the money the it, football is generating. So for whom? For the players? Well, for the game? For the players? Well, rightly so. They're the stars. But the game itself is unsustainable. I'm not saying it is. So at, that at these current be, levels, uh, that the only reason be, it's being sustained is because stupid Burks like me are prepared to go in and write checks forever <laughs> and shake Mansoor and, and while that whoever can, else they're prepared while to that do. You've never written me a check. I think if anyone's going to get paid, it leave. should be the stars of the show, and that's the talent on the pitch. All right. Thanks, Trevor. Sorry, you were just finishing there. <laughs> but we can't, we just, we we can't allow this yeah. nonsense to be trotted out by these guys in football. It's a short career that has got to well, be stopped. It's, it's nonsense. Well, Simon, Every you, career is short, Simon, Trevor. No said, one has a job for said, life. You said you don't mind top quality players getting rewarded top quality money. Phil Ford falls fine. into that jurisdiction. That, that's be fair quiet. enough, but I'm pulling you up on the idea that people have to accept this nonsense, which you discredit your own argument. It's a short career. Nobody has a long career in life. Nobody's job is guaranteed. Mm. The average footballer has a 12-year career. Yeah. So don't guaranteed. keep saying it's a short career. Well, it's a short all career. that apart, you say from Simon, Man City are prepared to be this. And in comparison with what the others are getting, you'd have to make the argument, yeah. as galling as it is, yeah. it's worth the money. What because was, in comparison to what others... What was the biggest check you ever wrote at Palace? For players' wages? Um, fifty, sixty thousand a week. Yeah, but you've got to compare that to the size of the football club, the turnover of the football club. Man City's turnover is five hundred million. And then Crystal Palace's a... turnover was fifty, sixty million when I was paying a player fifty, sixty thousand pound a week. Yeah, multiply that up by that logic, I should have been paying him four hundred thousand pound a week if it was Man City's logic. Do you get cramp in your hand though when you try and write a check? <laughs> yes, I do. Yes, I do. <laughs> Jim White and Simon Jordan, Monday to Thursday morning, ten till one. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.